How are you guys doing today? I'm Brad Porter and I have a review for you. Um, recently Manny Fish sent me a free fly box to uh, review for him. As you guys know, I'm the owner of uh, Steelhead Alley Flies. So they figured it was appropriate to send it to me because they just wanted me to review it for them. And after opening it, immediately after opening it, I was... <laughs> already filling it with my some nymph patterns squirmy worm there as you can see uh this side is just completely empty but out of one out of ten of this box i'd rate it at a nine or eight or nine i'd say that because i just love the overall look of the box um i like how it's blue like the silicone is blue so you can pick out your flies easier when you need to. Um, and I really like just the durable feel to it. As you can see on the package, it's uh, waterproof and you can just see it's very durable. Um, and silicone, it just heals itself, you know? Um, this is my old nymph box I used to put nymphs in, and you can see how destroyed it is, you know? It's just that foam over the years that gets destroyed. But many people ask me, um, would you recommend putting like a, this is a hand tied jig I tied the other day. Would you recommend putting a fly like this in this box? And I already tried, and no. You would want to stick to nymph patterns maybe dry flies i'd recommend putting dry flies in a foam box though but this this box right here you can see the white part here this is the waterproof thing right here um i really like the packaging of it too and i can honestly say right when i got this my dad was like hey man i'm gonna i'm actually gonna order one of these for myself uh because i'm getting him into fly fishing too uh yeah, I mean, uh, now that I talked about all the positives of it, there are, there is one negative to it that I can think of, but it's really not that bad. Um, this box, as you can see, it's, it's, um, for a nymph box, it's a little bulky, right? We're all used to the tacky box, you know, same price as this, but you can't hold as many flies, but... People nowadays want to be able to have a flat fly block so they could just pull it right out, right? And they want the magnet, but that's not completely waterproof, right? Um, and this is a little heavy. So it's a little bulky and a little heavy, but that's not too big of a deal for me. Um, as you can see, this is an older box. I didn't have... It's just a pain. You can't really open it with one hand either. This box, you know, because I'm holding my phone. That's my uh, vice right there. But, uh, because you can open this with one hand, no problem. And, you know, it's, it's good for, uh, being on the stream. And, I, I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm not... I give honest reviews, and I'm not just giving this a good review because they sent it to me. I honestly... Like, I would buy this in a heartbeat <laughs> if I had money. <laughs> well, I have money, but... Like, this would be my good... Here, look, there's my dog. Hey, Berg, how are you doing, bud? <laughs> you like the fly box, too, don't you? I would buy this in a heartbeat, and I'm probably going to get another one for me and my dad, so we're going to get two more. But, yeah, Manny Fish, you guys really outdid yourself. And if you're beginning fly fishing, I would say... um Go to them, too, for your fly needs. They have a selection called the Fly Army where you get uh, different flies, you know, nymph patterns, squirmy worms, the whole deal. Um, even though I own my own fly company, I'll give them that one. They do tie some pretty good flies. And this is just a little homemade jig right here, but this is my go-to one. Uh, this is not the first company to send me free stuff. It was... Black Par Apparel also sent me the sticker here. I, I have a few more that I gave away to customers as they ordered, but I really like the brownstone uh, sticker from them. I take pictures in front of the, my fly in front of the um, sticker every now and then. 
But yeah, I would um, recommend this fly box to anybody that needs a good nymph box, that likes the silicone, that wants waterproofing, and wants durable. I mean, it's pretty much... Um, I think it's 20, 28, or no, it might be $25. I, I probably should have checked before I started this video, but you know, I did not. Um, it's a little pricey, but you know, nowadays you have to pay for quality. I'm sure we all know that. But, uh, there, I was uh, recently on a video from uh, McFly Angler where he's, him and his viewers were pretty much bashing this box because it was a little pricey and you know, those are the same people that go out with, like, the $2 boxes and they complain when, like, their flies fall out of it, you know? It's, you need to buy quality nowadays. Um, yeah, I, I really like this company and dealing with them through this whole uh, giveaway type thing. It was very easy to deal with them. So, if you want a good fly box, good nymphing box, I would recommend this. If you need something for streamers, do not get this. <laughs> I already tried that. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good day. Tight lines.